All right, so this video is going to be about graphics design, video editing, and some of my challenges around uh, trying to create content at scale. So here's the scenario. The problem is, is that I have about three different businesses that I need to kind of support, all of which need some form of graphics design, marketing material, etc. And when I started like in my own personal journey as a software developer, et cetera, I, I, I started out doing graphics. So I'm actually fairly capable of doing some level of graphics editing. The problem is, is that when you're trying to run a business and manage your employees and, and do a bunch of stuff, it just becomes time um, prohibitive. So my goal is to find a graphics company that can either a graphics designer or a graphics company that can help with this process. And so anyway, this video is going to be about sort of the journey with that process. I'm going to give you my thoughts on which one I choose, or at least I'm planning to choose and then how it works out, if it works out. And then as I, as I kind of progress, I'll, I'll share my experience with that. So that's basically the goal of this video. So I'm going to switch over to the computer. I got, I picked out about, let me see, one, two, three, four, five different companies that, like that I think kind of fits my ballpark in terms of what I'm looking for. And, um, and then we'll walk through it and I'll just tell you my thought process and let you know, sort of my, the, the sort of top criteria, but to, just to highlight them. Number one is, um, graphics. And video is a must. So I need a company that can do both graphics and video. Uh, the other thing is they have to be under a thousand dollars, ideally under 800 bucks. Um, turnaround time, 24 hours, 24, 48 hours. That's sort of the deal. And I need the source files in case I need to modify it or do extra stuff outside of what is it that they gave me. So those are sort of the top criteria. Um, the other ones would probably be like, um, integration, which is some, that's something I thought about, but definitely integration and a project management system. I'll show you what I mean by that in a bit. So let me switch over to the computer and then I'll actually show you that in a sec. Okay. So here's my criteria. As I mentioned before, these are the sort of the five companies that I choose. So Kemp, uh, Penji, I think it is, Des, uh, Deslin, I don't know how to pronounce these names, No Limit Creative and, and Draft. So anyway, so this is my sort of like very basic primitive list of sort of the criteria that I'm looking for. So originally the first company that I came across that kind of did this was, um, was these, uh, beehive guys, these guys here, or uh, sorry, be creative. Um, but it's just video editing. And I've since realized that I actually just don't need video editing. I need graphics as well too. So, um, so I started doing some research at eight ninety nine. I was like, mm, for video editing alone, I don't know if I need that many videos. Now I do plan to put out a lot of videos in the future, but at eight ninety nine, I just couldn't justify just video editing. I was like, you know what? Right now, my my real highest need is not video editing. It's actually graphics. So do the graphics first, and if I need to video design, then I'll I'll sort of upgrade to that. So. So anyway, so now this, this company is completely out because that's, that's kind of their whole thing. Their whole thing is unlimited video editing for like people that do YouTube, etc. So I've gotten rid of them. Um, on the higher end of the spectrum, this is completely out as well too. There's companies that will do this for like 5,000 a month, 9,000 a month, 7,500, right? Digital advertising. They're more like an agency. So those are out. So that leaves me with companies kind of like this. Um, I've looked at these guys. I've tried to reach out to them multiple times actually and I've gotten no response now it's very clear that this company is a much smaller company um, I tend to be able to tell that based on the design of websites so if you look at certain design of certain websites um, there's just small little cues that you could tell that they're not as established company and and yeah, I, I just know how to do it. Like I, that's, that's, that's the only thing I'll say about that. So anyway, so these guys here, I've tried to reach out to them multiple times. I've not gotten back to them. Their pricing looks good, but okay, this was on the video editing and graphics design. However, you know, I'm literally using your chat feature. I set up my email address and all that type of stuff, no response. So it's like, you know what, not be bothering with you. And, um, and then, yeah. Okay. So then this, it leads me to sort of the few that I, that I want to talk about. So. So that got me searching for these particular companies. And number one, I'm 90% certain I'm going to go with these guys and I'll tell you why. And then we'll talk about some of the others, why they're in the running, but I don't think I'll choose them for the start. So, uh, first of all, I went through this entire list here, went through every one of these companies 
in this list here, looked at their website, reevaluated them, etc. And um, these guys stand out for me for a couple of reasons. One is the pricing, the, the pricing seems pretty good, but it's, first of all, it's unlimited graphics and video editing, video design, which is great for a flat fee. And that, that, that's a big deal for me. So pricing wise, first of all, I like the fact that they're actually given a two months sort of discount. Um, so at 495, basically 500 bucks for both graphics and video, like this is very much worth it. Now keep in mind that after that, that price jumps up significantly, right? Like that's a, that's a thousand bucks a month on, on graphics design. However, I'll tell you why it seems to be mo the most comprehensive. So what I like about their system is, and this is a big deal. So I looked at their video, their Online entire walkthrough. I looked at their entire walkthrough and, and sort of basically on a Trillo board, I think it's just a, a Trillo white label product. And you could kind of sort of keep track of your graphics. So the good news is that, you know, you can sort of front load a bunch of graphics into the application and then kind of slowly progress it through the pipeline. I really, really like that workflow because um, like, I don't want to be, coming up with a design every day and sending it to somebody. I'd like to kind of sit down maybe on Sunday afternoon and say, here are all the 10 things that I need designed this week, create them, craft them, dump them in a tool, and then have them kind of slowly progress through the pipeline uh, throughout the week. And I can kind of jump in there and look at the progress versus the versus some of the tools that I see is like, well, fill out this form, submit your request, fill out this form, submit your request over and over. Um, the other criteria was just this. I'm just mentioning this as a as a why these tools are not in the running. Um, fiber. I have fiber here. Um, I use fiber religiously for a lot of stuff. But the problem is one is you got to keep paying for every single time. That gets expensive fairly fast if you're doing a lot of stuff at scale. That's number one. And design pickle, which has this concept of just you know send your stuff in. We'll have people compete, and then they will get you a design. Same exact same process. Um, Actually, I take that back. This is not, it, I'm thinking about the other company. Um, it doesn't really matter. Point is these guys are only doing graphics. So as a result of that, it's, and it's, I, I just don't need it. So that's why they're out. So coming back to the thing, I'm jumping around here, but anyway, um, so source files is definitely a must. Now the truth is I actually don't know. I didn't see anywhere on their site, Kim, if they do source file, but see here, I do like the fact that this is a really big deal for me. You could kind of upload your brand and your context and have every single thing sort of preset, right? So you, all your materials are sort of in this dashboard. It sits there. And then whenever you create a new design, you could just choose from the list and say, use this brand philosophy, right? Because if you have multiple companies and you deal with multiple different graphics, then you could kind of say, okay, use this brand in because it's for this particular project. Use this brand in for this particular project, right? That's what it seems like. And I think you can get the files after you're done. They mentioned a zip file that you could download, but you, but they didn't say any single thing other than that. So, so I'm going to try these guys because the second one, which seems to be also promising is this company here, the Panji. And why did I choose these guys? So, uh, animated graphics app design, right? So this is interesting to me because of the fact that I'd like to also do some app design as well. So this is, this is, this definitely has some merits. Um, I'm not entirely certain, uh, looking at the design should be simple. Yeah. You know what? I, um, I'm not entirely certain why. So demo, right? Okay. You know what? Didn't want to watch your stupid, I didn't want to fill out their form for their demo. Unlimited graphics, blah, 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 blah. Um, this is interesting though. I might, I might actually look at it a little bit more closer. So the bottom line is these are the top files tool that I have right now. Um, this one here is interesting just because it has SEO writing, which I might actually do separately because I'm in the market for an SEO, SEO person. So come on. Right. So, so they, the graphics design 599, they're in the same sort of ballpark. The problem is, is that 
what is it not include they have a bunch of stuff here 3d app design app or app design copywriting etc mobile app design so they don't do app design within that price point right versus these guys i think i might be wrong about this I think the reason why I'm gravitating to this specific tool is because of the, yeah, because it'll actually tell you, it says it includes print design, digital and print design. It doesn't specifically say app design though. Oh, here, graphics. So mostly print stuff. Uh, what we don't do here. So they don't do web, mobile, or app design projects, which is interesting, right? Like I'm, I mean, I'm software developer, so they don't do web design. They're doing mostly like posters and flyers and stuff. And that's because they could pump this out and push it out pretty fast. But the truth is, this is what I kind of need, right? Like I, I'm so, hmm, it's a little tricky in that process. Landing pages, which is what I need. So yeah, I'm gonna give them a shot um i'm gonna i'm gonna give them a shot this is a little concerning that they don't do like you know full web design or full app design projects which is obviously more time consuming but so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm going to try them on their lower tier. i like the fact that i can move up to their video tier so i don't know which one to start with but, but the point is i'm but I'm going to try them on the lowest tier first and then jump up to the higher tier if needed. But yeah, let me just make one last point here, which is now, interestingly enough, these guys will do app design. So they'll do web design and app design for sort of a cheaper price point. So it kind of puts you in a situation, doesn't it? Do you want video because it's important to you or you want web and app design? Unlimited presentation, unlimited graphics. So what do you get? Unlimited product design, turnaround, design, branded folders. Yeah, it puts you in a situation, doesn't it? Because I, so this is definitely appealing to me based on the fact that they have web design and app design, because those are two things that I actually do need. Unlimited sort of presentation. So here, so graphics design, logo, Branding. So basically what you're saying is at five six ninety nine at six ninety nine I can get every single thing that these guys are doing, graphics design. So graphics design, if I'd done it by itself, is five ninety nine. But they don't do app design. Just keep that in mind. So technically this this is a better um uh, package. However, on the flip side, they don't do video design or video editing. And I will need some video editing. So I do like this idea of moving up, but maybe what it is is maybe it's just you know, two different two different companies for two different things. Yeah. Um so I'm gonna have to think about this a little bit more. But anyway, the point of this video is really just to kind of just highlight my initial thoughts, just so you could understand where I'm going with it. I'll I'll I'll, I'll let you know my final pick and in another video I'm gonna try to uh, give you an update on which tool I use and, and what my experience were and how it sort of uh, formulate into whether it worked out or not. That's basically the goal of this video. So thank you.